Keeping the track of the latest updates in softwares helps to enhance your software skills. Hello, this is Vijaya welcoming you to Grey Edge. In this video, we will go through some of the enhanced features of 3ds Max 2020, which are Chamfer Modifier, Import Revit File, and Import Sketchup File. So let us start with Chamfer Modifier. Here I have created an object and I need the object to be chamfered. So I'll go to Modifier List and select Chamfer Modifier. You can see the object has been chamfered. Under Corner option in Metering, we can set the methods for joining the corners such as Radial, Quad, Patch, etc. We can define the chamfer value in Amount option. We can specify the numbers of segments over here as well. Yeah, so let's move to the next enhanced feature that is in Import Revit. So I'll go to File, New and create a new file. So we'll go to File, Import, Import and select the Revit file. Click on the Open button. Here in import setting under combination rule we have got two new combinations that are combined by Revit category and Revit material and the second one is combined by Revit family type and Revit material. So let us see an example. We'll go with combined by Revit category and Revit material first and then click on the OK button. Here you will get a window, select Revit Categories to Import. So here you can disable the categories that you don't want to import. So I'll go with the options as it is and click on OK. The file has been imported. Let's open Scene Explorer. So I'll go to Tools, select Scene Explorer. As I selected combined by Revit category and Revit material in combination rule. So according to that, the object has been named. For example, wall underscore excess ivory flat. Here the wall is a category's name while excess ivory flat is the material's name. So if I hide the visibility, you can see all the walls are getting hidden which belong to the same category and material. This is because in Revit they had the same category and the same material. And so they have been converted into a single object. Let's see the next combination that is Revit family type and Revit material. So I'll create a new file over here. I'll import the same Revit file and click on the open button. So in the import setting under combination rule this time I'll go with combined by Revit family type and Revit material and click on the OK button. So you'll get a window over here that says select Revit family types to import. So here you can disable the Revit family types that you don't want to import. So as I request all the family types, I'll keep it the way it is and click on the OK button. So the file has been imported. Let's open Scene Explorer. Here the object has been named according to the Revit family type and material. So if we see an example over here, like excess exterior wall 150 underscore excess ivory flat. So excess exterior wall 150 mm is Revit's family type name while excess ivory is the Revit's material name. So if I hide excess exterior wall 150 mm underscore excess ivory flat, you can see 
some of the walls are getting hidden while some are not this is because they didn't belong to the same revit family type or maybe they didn't have the same material so revit objects belonging to the same family type with same materials becomes a single object the combination options allows us to easily manage the sin let's see the next feature that is import sketchup so i'll create a new file i don't want to save this file so i'll go with don't save and here to import the sketchup file we'll repeat the same step as we went with to import revit file so i'll go with file import import and select the sketchup file now before opening the file i'll just right click and we'll go with the properties so here you can see the sketchup file that i've selected has been created in sketchup version 2019 so i'll select it and click on open and import so here the file has been imported with the new release it supports all the versions of sketchup previously the support stopped at the version 2015 so that's all keep learning keep updating as the process of learning and updating never stops thank you for watching the video